Welcome back to SpeedHack, hosted by myself, Dave Dombro, and Kevin Fountain here. Our goal with SpeedHack is not to review footwear in the traditional sense. Our goal is to see whether we can make footwear faster. So today's hack is focused on the Convara 10, but our mission of speed has a slight twist. See, we love running the Convara 10. It's light, breathable, flexible, kind of an ideal shoe on the road. It's a great shoe. But that is where the problem exists. Within Saucony's range, we really didn't see the exact relative for the trail. No, it's kind of a missed opportunity. All right. So in this hack, we'll take the standard Convara 10 and attempt to convert it from road to trail. I think we will have our work cut out for us. Although the Convara is a great road shoe, there are completely different demands when considering the trail. After running and evaluating the Convara 10 on the trail, there are two main areas that we want to modify, traction and cushioning. Okay, so first up, traction. Being that it's an ultra-light road shoe, the grip is primarily outsole grade foam. In order to get better traction on the trail, we will remove a portion of the foam and replace with rubber pods. But in order to scare a proven grippy compound, we will look toward a fast rolling mountain bike tire from Specialized. This should not only enhance grip, but also be great with shedding mud, and it'll probably look fairly interesting as well. I bet it will. The second thing we're going to look at is cushioning. The original Kinvara is fairly deconstructed underfoot, and in order to address the needs of the trail, we will look to use a thin carbon fiber plate inside the shoe. This plate should not only make the shoe feel more springy or bouncy, but it will add a much needed layer of protection from rocks and roots. One important twist to note though is on our plate construction. In order for the carbon to feel as lively and active as possible, we will only glue it in the heel, allowing it to freely move or float in the forefoot. In many ways, we believe that this should function in a more anatomical fashion and complement the flex of the foot. Here's a multi-view sketch of the proposed changes. So we have done the hack and ran the original shoe, but now it's time to turn to our rabbit. As you know, the rabbit will run both shoes and tell us if we have made it perceivably faster. The rabbit will also tell us if we have successfully converted the Convara from a road shoe into a trail equipped Convara. I definitely felt like I had a little bit more control on the forefoot, right. on the trail. There's a good icy section up there, so I was like, oh, okay, this is a good test to see how this how this does. When you say control, is that like traction as well? Yeah, more traction on the forefoot it felt like. Okay, so the rabbit has tested the shoe, and during the course of the run, the rabbit encountered several slippery patches of terrain. And with the added mountain bike tire pods on the bottom, the rabbit felt like they had much more control and security. The rabbit also noted that the shoe felt like it had much more pop, but also that it might be slightly heavier than the Road Convara. We attribute the pop comment to the addition of the carbon plate and the rubber, and although the hack shoe is slightly heavier, it would still be one of the lightest trail shoes on the market today. So we hope you enjoyed our Kinvara 10 hack. Thanks for watching, and come back soon to see our next speed hack.